Welcome. Can you draw each of these shapes? Here's the first one. By drawing these shapes, I mean can you trace over them without going over the same line more than once? You'll find that this first one is possible, and here's one way of showing that. What about the second one? Try as you might, you'll see that it is impossible to trace over. All that leads to a very famous mathematics problem based on a bridge in Russia, Konigsberg Bridge Problem. A very famous mathematician, Euler, used it as the basis for some of his work. What we have here is a diagram with seven bridges and the idea is, is it possible to cross each bridge once only? Can you see how similar the idea is to crossing over lines without going over the same line once? We'll find out the answer to this problem later. We need some definitions first. The first one is a network. What is a network? Basically it's a two-dimensional shape consisting of points or vertices as we call them and lines or sides. Here's an example. How many vertices are there? The red dots. And how many lines are there or sides? There are five vertices and five sides. An important definition, if a vertex, which is the singular for vertices, has an even number of lines connected to it, then we say it is an even degree vertex. Are there any of those in our diagram? Yes, there are. There are three of them, vertex A, vertex B, and vertex C. If you notice, each of those has two lines connected to it or two sides. Similarly, an odd degree vertex has an odd number of sides connected to it and there are two of those in our network, vertex D and vertex E. An important definition here, we say that a network is traversable if we can go over every line exactly once. We can visit a vertex more than once but each edge must be only visited once which is very similar to our initial problem, wasn't it, where we go over the shape only once. We're going to look at several shapes first to see if they are traversable. Is the first one. What do you think? Is this one traversable? It is, and here's one way of showing that. We go from C A, then from A to D, D back to A, A B, B A, A B, B C, and finally CD. And another way of showing that path is to use the letters of each vertex, as you can see there. Is it possible though to predict in advance whether or not the path is traversable? We shall see shortly. What about this shape? Is this one traversable? Again the answer is yes. Here's one way of doing that. B to C, CD, DF, FC, CG, GB, BA, AE, EF, FG, GE, and finally EB. And there's a way of showing that again as a path using the vertices letters. Again we pose the question, how do we know in advance if the shape will be traversable? This shape is not traversable so I won't even pretend to show it, but how do I know that? Similarly, this shape is not traversable. Again, how can we predict that? Here are the important definitions that we need to decide whether or not a shape will be traversable. Firstly, if all the vertices are even degree, then the shape is traversable. Or, if we have exactly two vertices that are odd order, odd degree, and the rest are even degree, then we can also say the shape is traversable. Let's verify that for the shapes we looked at. The first one, as you can see there, we said was traversable and here's the reason. There are two odd vertices and two even, so that satisfies our second condition, doesn't it? The second shape, there are no odd vertices, all are even, so that satisfies the first condition, so that is traversable. The third shape, not traversable, and the reason being that there are four odd vertices, which contradicts the requirement that we cannot have more than two odd vertices. Similarly, for the last one that is not traversable, there are three odd vertices and we're not allowed to have more than two. Now let's go back to our famous problem. Here's the diagram. Let's represent that as a network diagram. 
like that with vertices and edges. Can we write down how many edges are attached to each vertex? Yes, we can, and there's the result. What do we notice? All vertices are odd order. What does that mean? It means that the shape is not traversable because we are not allowed to have more than two odd vertices. So we can conclude from that that it is not possible to cross every bridge once only. Hope you enjoyed that brief presentation and I hope it encourages you to explore more about networks. For more of my maths work, please visit either YouTube or my website www.emathomet.com.